Hi, it's Luis Das from English CC Luis channel. My dears, how are you all? I hope you are all doing very well by the grace of God. I wish you all the very best. So what am I going to do in this video? I have already suggested few ways of improving our standard, our efficiency to speak in English fluently and effectively. This is yet another way or another help which I am going to show you believing that this also may help for those who wish to speak in English fluently or who wants to speak English fluently and effectively. See what I have written here. Simple ways of speaking English. Simple ways of speaking English. See we all know that speaking English is not that much easy especially if we are the native speakers of some other language. <coughs> For example, if we have Tamil as our mother tongue, if we have Telugu or Malayalam as our mother tongue, there are certain ways by which we can improve our ways to speak in English fluently. And according to my knowledge and experience, I feel few ways that I am going to show you may be of great help for those who wish to speak English fluently or easily. See, these are the five different ways by which we can improve our spoken English or we can speak English fluently. See, first of all, when we find, when we find difficult to speak in English or when we speak English, we should try to use idioms. We should try to use idioms. Not only idioms, the right idioms, correct use of idioms or correct idioms. And then what is the third simple way that I have suggested here is work on your words. Which means our vocabulary should be high. We should know a lot of words, lots and lots of words in English. Because ultimately what do we do when we speak English? We use different kinds of words, different types of words. Of course, all of them are in different grammar. And then fourthly, we have to know the culture. Which means that we should understand the culture of the place, culture of the location and culture of the audience. Here culture doesn't mean that the lifestyle that the people follow. It could mean that way also but then when we talk about speaking English fluently it means that we need to know the, the colloquial, formative and the movements of the people and the slang words they use every now and then in their own language and then accordingly we must select the words and speak. And then lastly, learn in chunks, learn in chunks. Chunks of course we know there are certain slang words by which we can address the gathering very easily. But in this video, I am not going to discuss <coughs> all those five different ways. I am just going to 
concentrate only on the first and the second strategy that I showed you. Use idioms and use the correct idioms. See? Use the right idioms. There are thousands and thousands of idioms we can come across. But I have selected a few and you can, of course, you have all the facilities in the world. You can browse through. You can go and find out and know the meaning of those idioms and try to use them in your spoken language when we speak English. So, idioms. Again, I have selected and feel that this could be one of the five important idioms that we must remember. What are they? See, break a leg. Break a leg under the weather. Pull someone's leg. Beat around the bush. You can't say that again. See, you can't say that again. See? <clears throat> so these are the five idioms that I have chosen to simplify their meaning and make you to understand and try to use these kind of idioms in our day-to-day -day spoken English when we communicate with people. Now let's look into the first one. Break a leg. Now break a leg doesn't mean that you are going to break someone else's leg. No. You have to know the correct meaning of the idiom. Break a leg means practically and truly it means good luck. Good luck. See especially for example when we want to wish a student before going for exam. You say break a leg. That does not mean that you are going to break the legs of the particular person before writing the exam. No. Which means that you are wishing. Good luck my dear. Have a nice exam. Write the exam well. So that what it means. Break a leg. See? Break a leg means good luck. Idioms are very, very unique in their own style because we cannot understand the meaning literally by understanding the meaning of every word, break, leg. No. It's completely different in meaning. Second or maybe, see for example, under the weather. See, under the weather. What is under the weather means? Under the weather, we all know that under the weather is one of the famous idiom that we use every now and then. So, we can try to use this from here onwards, every day in our conversation and in our spoken English. Under the weather, this doesn't mean that a person is standing in the rain or being wet because of the rain. No. Under the weather means feeling ill, feeling not good. Maybe feeling bad, so feeling ill. So maybe when you want to understand the meaning of this uh, idiom better under the weather, it doesn't mean that you want to provide a person with an umbrella. Would you like to have an umbrella? No. That is not the meaning. So, we have to feel positive and we have to appreciate or we have to make the person feel better. So, what can be said there? I hope you feel better. I pray for your speedy recovery. I wish you come back well soon. So, these kind of uh, positive vibratory words that we can use. So, that's what it means under the weather. See, once again, if you take the word separately, weather, it means climate. So, what is our basic understanding? Immediately, we want to provide an umbrella to that particular person. 
No. So we have to understand the meaning. And when we use this kind of uh, common idioms, common idioms, people will try to listen to you, listen to you very carefully. Okay, what does this mean under the weather? And if you tell them the meaning with examples, with practical examples, they may feel very happy, they may feel very satisfied. Okay, under the weather. Maybe the last one, pull the leg. There are few more. I will come back to you in the next video. See here, pull the leg. Pull someone's leg. So you must have heard always. Pull someone's leg. What does it mean? Pull someone's leg means, this is like breaking a leg, no, pulling out the leg. Pulling out someone else, someone else. And is or her leg, no. That does not mean that. It means, see, if you are uh, going to address the crowd or address the gathering or you are going to speak in a meeting and you feel the audience is very quiet. And so in order to make them feel comfortable with you, what you are going to say about, make them to be with you once you begin to speak with them. So you are going to crack a practical joke. That is what it means. Cracking or playing a practical joke. Practical joke. So pull someone else's leg. So you want to make that person say something positive. Say something openly. Come out. Come out. So that's what it means. Not going and pulling the legs of that particular person. No. It does not mean. So like that, there are few ways and means, my dears. There are so many ways that, that you can think of to improve the spoken English or our way of speaking English effectively. So I felt that the suggestions that I had come out in this video would be of great help to you. Watch the video completely till the end and give your comments. Increase the subscribers. Continue to subscribe my video, make use of them and until I see you in the next video, it's Luis Dawes signing you off. Thank you, God bless you, good.